Hello guys, this is a video continuation of the ESP.NET Core tutorial number 3. So in this video we will cover the startup.cs, programfile.cs and also the ESP.NET Core CLI. Let's open the program.cs and here as you can see we have the main constructor and then we have the create host builder. So the program.cs file um, for the main method is the entry point of this web application. Therefore, the .NET runtime will look for this method when this application is executed. And the create default builder to set up the web host which hosts the application with pre-configured defaults. It does several things such as set up the web server, it configures the login, and load the host and application configuration from various configuration sources. So, if we go to the definition, go to definition, here it will open the startup.cs. You can also pick, so if we pick here, let's open the startup.cs. So normally the startup.cs, like the program.cs, will be um, normally generated by the ASP.NET Core template. And this configure services it will configure the services required for this application. And the configure method will configure the application request processing pipeline. So this will be executed. Hello world. These are very important in ESP.NET Core. And if we want to run it, we can also use uh, ASP.NET Core CLI. By default, Visual Studio uses IIS Express to host and run this application. CLI stands for Command Line Interface. Moreover, the .NET Core CLI is a cross-platform tool for developing .NET applications, which is also supported on all platforms. So we can also use the command line to run the web application using the .NET Core CLI. So Let's open CMD and then we need to navigate the path where this application is. So you can right click on this and then open containing folder. So this is a path and you can copy the path and then go to your command prompt. Then type cd space cd to navigate. So navigate to this directory and then paste the path. Press enter. So now we are in this path and to view the different .NET function, you can you, you can type .NET space dash dash help. Enter. And here you will get a list of the SDK commands. So you have like add, build, clean, list, remove, run, and so on. And here, for example, if you want to add a package, you can type .NET add. So it will add a package or reference to the .NET project. And in this tutorial, we will we will run this .NET application. We will run it using the .NET CLI. So let's run it. So type .NET space run. Then press enter. So now it's building. And here it is. So it's listening on this. Let's open this port. So we go to this URL and then press enter. And here it is. As you can see, we have um, run the application using the um, command prompt and the .NET CLI. And also we can perform everything that we can with the Visual Studio using the .NET Core CLI. So when a .NET application is executed using the .NET Core CLI, Kestrel is used as a web server. So to stop it, you can do Control C. So as you can see, the application is shut down. Now if I um, reload it, it, it won't work. Thanks for watching, guys. 
we have arrived at the end of this video tutorial. Stay tuned, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.